Stories of bedbugs living in New York subways have long made travelers wary of where they sit. Now, scientists have found the blood-sucking creatures have a distinct genetic diversity depending on where they live in the city. So they're all the same. <laughs> A bed bug colony at the American Museum of Natural History was used for the genetic map. A similar map was assembled by a team at 36 institutions, including the University of Cincinnati. Um, just the way it's difficult for, for instance, for people to get from the east side of Manhattan to the west side of Manhattan on a subway, it appears to be difficult for bed bugs to move east and west across the city as well. Researchers plan to use the information to help invent more effective solutions to contain the pests. Um, I think uh, our map is more informative to are there like maybe physical barriers or activities that are happening in different places that may impede the spread of bed bugs or enhance the spread of bed bugs. To learn how the bed bug has evolved and spread, the team took DNA samples from 1,400 locations across the city. So it is important to note that we found evidence of their DNA, which gave us a picture of the populations of bed bugs in that part of the city, but it doesn't mean that the subways are swarming with bed bugs. The New York team's resulting scientific paper on the subject was published Tuesday in Nature Communications. Luke Sheridan, Associated Press.